second. Many mm. minerals were burned in the air. Yes, it's true. <laughs> Not uh, specifically the type that we sell. No, but there was a lot the minerals of, themselves. Yes, yeah. all the different uh, elements that go into making the specific colors. Do you want to give a listing of that, uh, uh, Christopher? Magnesium, aluminum, mm. copper, mm. Care or titanium. That's mm. one of the colors, but yeah, mm. there's a lot of. Isn't there a lot mm. of sulfur in fireworks oh, yeah. too? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah for that's sure. That's what gives it that mm -hmm. stinky smell. That's what yeah. I thought. Yeah. Mm, the sweet took, smell of fireworks. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Smells like victory. Oh, yeah. Took Zane out. He got a little freaked out. We were out there for about a minute, and he said, I want to go back. He's oh, done? Wow. Oh, yeah. not he a fireworks man. Not yet, oh, anyway. I'm kind of surprised by that. He's so high energy. Yeah. That, uh, the big booms uh, kind of freaked him out. That was enough. Okay. Animals and small children, not their favorite holiday. No. Mm. No. But it's okay. <laughs> I had a good time. Four-day weekend. Got a lot done around the house. Nice. Very nice. Rested and refreshed. Ready to go on my big road trip next week. Mm. All right. Oh, you're so. leaving again. I'm leaving again, I know. Heading west. Heading west. Mm. Leaving uh, next Tuesday. Nice. Uh, we'll uh, make a uh, counterclockwise trip. So all of those folks in the uh, Bay Area, I'll probably be there about a week from Tuesday. How far north are you going? Bay Area. Bay Area. And, wow, well, so I'm going to uh, Montana, but that's kind of a private function. Uh, oh, okay. I can't just invite people there. Gotcha. So, mm. why? Well, I, I won't attend then. Yeah. Well, mm. <laughs> you would be welcome. Mm. No, you were unwelcome. You put me to work. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's an invitation only thing at the club I'm going to. So mm. neat. That'll be fun. Should be. So mm. if you have Inside a trip. whole bunch of folks who want to see minerals privately, mm -hmm. get in touch with us. We absolutely can do private events. Absolutely. 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 And uh, Christopher, you're probably going to be leaving shortly thereafter. Uh, right on your heels when you get back. So, okay. Uh, and I'll be uh, going uh, the uh, other way. I may also be doing uh, counterclockwise uh, around the East Coast mm -hmm. uh, myself. Uh, so uh, I'll be, you know, going as far south as Texas mm -hmm. and up in the, uh, the mid Midwest. I'm going to try to get to the Upper Peninsula if I can. But. Uh, mm -hmm. Be, uh, be a that's nice a trip lot of driving. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of driving. It really, really yeah. is. And uh, got a lot of new things to show. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. We do. Got a lot of nice things in the lab that are just popping up. But as usual, we can't talk about them. So that yeah, was one Sorry. of the things that uh, I was uh, I was really uh, <laughs> was really interesting to me about uh, interesting to me about coming here is right. that I never expected there to be so much uh, lab work. You know. Oh yeah. Uh, for right. you know just trimming and presentation Prepping and the things like batches that. of things yeah. we get. Absolutely. It's a lot of fun. Getting everything prepped and then figuring out how it's going to get marketed, and that's why we can't talk about it until we figure out how we want to market it. Yep. So, mm. anyway, there's a lot of things on the horizon. Stay tuned. Yes, we'll be announcing sure. them as soon as as soon as we get them in our hands. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And if not here, then it will be on this format. There dun, you dun, go. Dun, dun. <laughs> oh, definitely. We've, we're actually up to three, at least three shows a week now. Three shows. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we started as, at doing one a month, and then uh -huh. one every other week, and then now we're to three a week. Three Some, a week. Sometimes four. Depends on whether or not I feel like coming in on Saturdays. Right. <laughs> I don't blame you. It is a lot. But sometimes it makes sense to come in on Saturdays right. and do them. You know, like we almost did a uh, July 4th weekend sale on Saturday. Oh. But mm -hmm. instead, I just came in on Monday and did it on Monday. There you go. Yeah. And 220 people joined us. That's fantastic. Very Something nice. like that, yeah. Mm -hmm. Out of your 80,000 followers. Yeah, we're a little over 80,000 now. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, we kind of do the ebb and flow now. Like we'll go up to eighty point four thousand, and then we'll go back down to eighty point three, and then Whoa. back up to eighty point five. <laughs> I don't know. Your following is purposing, as they might say. <laughs> well, I think a lot of it has to do with like aging accounts that right. might get deleted, deleted right, things right, like sense. that, and then new yeah. people come in to replace those. Right. It's a lot. Bots it that get lot. unplugged. It, also that definitely because <laughs> thankfully instagram has started to crack down on that yeah. stuff which right. is really nice yeah you've you got to keep it real yeah for exactly also mm -hmm. all those bots ever were good for was spam like mm -hmm. they would spam your comments with stuff that was irrelevant right just trying to use you as their advertising yeah platform. exactly and then i you know so it's nice not spending an hour a day uh deleting uh right you know, cryptocurrency oh, posts yeah. in our <laughs> mineral pages and things like that. Right. That's not so fun. It mm -hmm. was not fun, no. So in general, what when can our minerals live viewers 
tune in and watch your Instagram live shows? Almost every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday okay. we do a show. And it's usually around 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon mountain time. Mm -hmm. So 5-ish, 6-ish Eastern time is usually when we go live. And we gotcha. go live for about an hour, hour and a half. And we show, depending on what we're showing, as many minerals as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. oh, there's like dozens. I'm sorry. If oh, you yeah. if you follow on if you follow us on Instagram, Alan's really great about posting a countdown clock, so you don't have yeah. to even worry <laughs> about wait. I'm Eastern, Central, Mountain, right. Pacific. No, well, just look at the clock down uh, countdown. <laughs> I got a, I got a lot of feedback. It's like Alan, why do you always put 3 p.m. MT? And it's like, well, Mountain Time, so you know my time zone. Well, what what is that in relation to me? I'm in Cambodia. Or I'm in France. I'm in wherever. Mm. And so that's why I started doing the countdown. So now, no right? matter where you're at, if you just go to our story, it'll be like three hours until Alan's going to start talking about rocks. Perfect. Make it simple. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. We've gotten a lot of positive feedback on the countdowns. <laughs> no, I bet. There's no. also a button on there that you can push. Like if you get the notification, oh, mm -hmm. Alan's mm -hmm. doing this, you can hit it, and it'll then send you a notification when it goes, are when it goes live. Yeah, nice. It's, it's that was nice. going to be the next question. How do people sign up for notifications? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On our Instagram live page, okay. if we go live, it will send you a notification that I'm live. So for sure. It's it's an automatic thing. If they have an Instagram account, they just go to Collector's Edge Minerals, all one word. At Collector's Edge Minerals. At, okay. That's where we're at. It's either you'll either, If you send us a message, you'll either get me, myself, or Chantel, who's not with us today. She's, right. uh, she's out back. Uh, right. But uh, one of us will answer your message for sure. Fantastic. So ask away. We, we get all kinds of questions on there. And you also do, uh, like, special shows, right? We do sometimes do mm -hmm. special We're actually doing our first on-location show tomorrow. That's We're going fantastic. to do uh, a show live from the show from the showroom at the Sunnywood Collection. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. We'll show some amazing stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Kind of introduce everyone to Adam, Those mm -hmm. are, everybody who doesn't know him. I, assuming he lets me put him in front of the camera. He might not. <laughs> he will. He's been <laughs> on Mineral Side. Right. Uh, I, thought times, right? I thought he had. I thought he had. Okay. Right. He'll be all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do so much good work for everybody. Oh right. my gosh, yeah, mm -hmm. they're, they're the gold standard when it comes to bases. Right. I mean, there's just there's no question about it. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna we're gonna do a show from there, and it'll be our first on location show. So mm -hmm. who knows what's gonna happen? And you have several more kind of in the planning stage. Yes, right? we have several mm -hmm. more. And if you're a dealer out there, or somebody who has a great collection that you want to show off, mm -hmm. send us a message on Instagram. We would love to come do an, an on location at your place, even if I have to bring my own rocks. So, have you ever thought about doing it? one of the things I've noticed with like uh, uh, Netflix and Amazon Prime and a lot of things that have watch parties? Have you ever had any requests for a watch party? Watch they want to get like you know five to ten people together at their house wherever in the country they are and say, "Hey, Alan, give me a private show." I haven't had that yet. I have had people request to come here uh -huh. while I do the shows, and mm, we've okay. had people come up, come to the office, and actually sit in the background while I blab blabber on about rocks. I don't know <laughs> why, but. Mm -mm. If because that's something you want to do and you're in Denver, give us a call. You can come by. See the magic happen. Yeah, <laughs> I guess. Exactly. How the sausage is made. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, don't Google it. Don't, don't Google it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. I recently made my own sausage for the first time. Ooh. Yeah. Well, made some... Uh, Your gourmet. Hi. Patties or links? Links. Nice. Links. They came out a little lopsided-ish once they were grilled the other night, but mm. uh, they were definitely sausage-shaped. But not mm. as consistent as like if you went to the store and got them. They were a little <laughs> bulby in some parts. <laughs> I'm sorry we don't have any video or pictures of Oh, this you're darn right we don't. There was going to be no evidence of this. <laughs> not until I get good at it, right. for sure. Right. I'm a perfectionist. You are. You are. So, we are about two months out mm -hmm. for uh, the biggest event of the year in Denver, oh, yes. yeah. mineral wise, and it's going to be a big one this oh, year. Yeah. Big, big, big. Uh, a lot of enthusiasm for mm -hmm. the Hard Rock Summit last year and this year. Mm -hmm. Everything uh, yeah. seems to be a lot coming together, better for getting together in crowds. So mm -hmm. um, we're Sexy expecting a huge, mm -hmm. uh, huge turnout. Right. Yeah, like the price of gas there, yep. uh, whether you're on the ground or in the air. Right. Um, but we're going to have, you know, the, the Hard Rock Summit, the Sparkle and Joy, Evolution, mm -hmm. Minerals, Fossils. There's going to be AGTA mm -hmm. with the Gem Show, the Sparkle and Joy. Uh, so you got wholesale and you got public. There's going to mm -hmm. be lots of local shows around. We'll mm -hmm. be out at the Crown Plaza, which is what, like 
two, three, four hundred vendors. It's it's uh, massive. So I, it's I've a bunch. I can't it. remember it's, how it's many hundreds. hundred, but it's huge. Yeah, right? it's absolutely huge inside and out. And mm-hmm. like the first time that I went there, I walked around for two days and was like, wow, you know, all these great things to see. And then I happened to go to uh, look for a Diet Coke up at the bar, and then it was like, oh my gosh, there's more show. Yeah, just mm-hmm. keep going. Like, right. go, yeah. go, go through every bit of that hotel you can, because there's somebody yep. set up there was something great. Right. right. Mm-hmm. She fills everything on that first floor. Went yes. to go get a Diet Coke, came back with like 10 little turmoils. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. <laughs> yeah. But Sandra Gonzalez does a great job out there oh, at the absolutely. Crown Plaza. She does. So that's it about... Uh, Chambers Road and I seventy, just as you're coming in from the airport, mm-hmm. it's right there. It's so. one of the one of the last exits before you're headed towards the exit, the t- airport. towards the airport, or Pain one of the first ones if, as you're coming out. It. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, don't miss it. Mm. Yeah, that's yeah. probably where I'll spend most of the show time. Right. Yep. You're gonna do that's some it. live broadcast from the I'll show. I'll do this live year? broadcast from there. I'm planning on doing one from the Hard Rock Summit, mm-hmm. rules permitting. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah. Most of the live stuff that we do during that time period will be at the Crown Plaza. It's, it's easier for me to set up there. It's easier right. for people to get in and out of there. Yeah. And you've got the long haul, so I believe we're going to be down in the convention center from the 8th to the 11th, yep. but you're going to be at the Crown from the 9th to the 18th, aren't you? Yeah, it's a long show. Yeah, it's a the long, 17th long show. is the last day. Oh, 17th. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. At least that's what I wrote on my calendar. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Uh, so, definitely come downtown. You're going to be able to fill your entire day or two up. Mm-hmm. Uh, while you're downtown, and then yeah. there's going to be other shows around town for the rest of the week, uh, mm-hmm. so you can make a full week of it very easily. Right. Yeah, they usually have, to at least try to have the Denver show that second weekend, but because of Munich getting pushed up three weeks, they had to push the Denver show up one week mm-hmm. in order to hopefully allow the Munich dealers to get back to uh, Germany before that show starts. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of them are worried, but we come first, so their minerals mm-hmm. will be here. Yes. <laughs> So definitely plan on coming to Denver. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It should be great. And hopefully this year even more of the international dealers are able to make it. Mm-hmm. I would expect so. Yeah. I mean, travel yeah. has gotten mm-hmm. easier. easier. Mm-hmm. Assuming your flight doesn't get canceled. And there'll be, uh, there'll be great <laughs> exhibits. There'll be great talks going right. on. So. All right. And, oh, I was going to say, and, and even, you know, you're out shopping, you're buying. If you if you don't make it to the talks, you don't, uh, you know, have a chance to go to some of the exhibits. I mean, just, just you can get your own private talks with just about any dealer. Right. Everybody loves to share information. And, and coming, to the, coming to the big shows like this is a really great way to find out just what's going on worldwide. You know, right. things that you just don't even see in articles or videos. Right. Or it's like the that. mineral community gathering. I mean, it it's, is. It's, it is. it's a big time for fellowship with your colleagues too it's not right. just about buying rocks it's right. seeing everybody too as i like to say a family reunion <laughs> <laughs> and that's the great thing about the uh, hard rock summit is the way everything's laid out there in the convention center everything is a very short walk away yep mm-hmm. you know the speaker halls the the sales halls the uh jewelry and minerals are just going to be right across the hall from each other mm-hmm. it's good just, food it's all and it's such a nice facility yeah. like it it's it's huge yes huge. but it's really nice mm-hmm. yeah you know, we've been in a lot of convention centers. I know I have, and some of them are laid out terribly. This right. one's laid out pretty nice, pretty well. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's in a good part of town, mm-hmm. so you can get out. And there's lots of restaurants and stuff nearby. Yep. Yep. It's pretty convenient. And if the scheduling goes like last year, you can go upstairs and get your uh, favorite mineral tattooed on your arm. That's right. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that right. Because awesome, yeah. there was a freaking <laughs> tattoo convention going on. Yeah, at the same yeah time. upstairs. Yep. Mm-hmm. Tattoo convention, mm-hmm. home and garden, and there was a, a, a biker show as well towards the end, wasn't mm-hmm. there? Possibly. Something. I think but so. Sounds plausible. So. But, but the guy that went up and got the uh, gold dragon tattooed on his arm during yep. the show that yeah. was pretty classic. Yeah, you could have gone and got mm-hmm. a nice bonsai, mm-hmm. put nice minerals around it, and then got the whole thing tattooed right on the arm, arm. <laughs> or wherever else you want to put it. Yeah. <laughs> Is that really where he got it done? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't didn't realize that's when he got it done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's hilarious. Yeah. We'll not mention his name here. (laughs) Just I don't know how he feels about that. I'm pretty sure he's he's proud of it. He's pretty proud of it. He is pretty proud (laughs) of it. Very much so. It looked really good. I'm about that. So uh, save the dates. I can't see my calendar from over here. But again, uh, if you can uh, regale the uh, viewers with the dates of all that again. Yeah, so that should be, uh, so that's... It's on the very left, third one down on the wall oh. up there, September. The 8th to oh, the yes, 11th. Oh, yes, 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 for some reason I was yep. looking at August. So, yeah, you're looking at Thursday, 
Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, September the uh, the eighth through the eleventh, mm-hmm. and then I believe the other show is ninth through. Uh, I would I think it's actually through the eighteenth because that's the Sunday. The Sunday. Uh, Everything that I had seen was uh, ninth through the eighteenth for the other shows, hmm. and it may not be like the the crown may only go to the seventeenth, but I believe like the Coliseum and some of the others. Are oh, that definitely. 18th. Oh, Sunday. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. 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 So. No, and I think there's even some that go further past that. Mm-hmm. Some mm-hmm. of the outliers. The real outliers. But there's so many little shows, I can't keep up with all of them anymore. Yeah. yeah. I went to the Coliseum show for the first time last year. That was quite interesting. I still have not been to that show. I've been a few times, and yeah. I've found some fun things. The, the, the last mm-hmm. year, I only made it there like for 20 minutes after we had closed for the Crown show. Right. But uh, I found uh, some uh, some guys with some new uh, trapeche amethyst from mm-hmm. Brazil. Mm-hmm. Um, nothing of high clarity. It no. all had to be slabbed or, or polished or, or done into spheres. But I got a couple of nice trapeche uh and mm-hmm. with the spheres that were fun. That's right. cool. Yeah. Definitely more of a venue for jewelry, beads, mm-hmm. you know, field collectors and those those types of dealers. But uh, it's definitely worth a day. Mm-hmm. It's really... Have, or at least a half a day. Yeah, it absolutely is. And it's really interesting. I've been coming to the Denver show since 2017. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've, I've noticed a lot. Like, you go through there and you'll find, like, one or two dealers that are just like, you know, at, at you know, those smaller shows that are like, wow, you've really got some good stuff. And then you'll notice them as they kind of step up step up in venues to mm-hmm. to i guess you know more more popular or, or where you tend to see better priced uh, mm-hmm. or better quality uh, specimens but th- a lot of those people work their way through even the lowest level shows so they're, right. they're worth popping by absolutely just for whatever grabs your eye yeah. grab it. Mm. <laughs> grab it. does anybody have any uh, other subjects they'd like to uh, brief today because this will probably be the last minute of his life for few weeks i'm going to be gone yeah. that's right You'll we be gotta gone, get, we gotta get gone. these guys trained up on how to run this show yeah oh this equipment's too complicated for my uh, it's <laughs> way more complicated yeah, than the instagram stuff, stuff uh, loading this stuff up and coordinating it. yeah no instagram all i have to do is i pick this up right i hit the Push start button. button and it goes and then people have to listen to me talk yeah. it's great yeah it's great <laughs> mm, i'm very jealous and it really is the future mm-hmm. we are gonna we should simplify your setup too so that it's easy uh, for you to well, we're just coordinating all the slides and everything. Yeah, I know. There's the fancy schmancy pictures there. Yeah. Which yeah, I will say is a little bit of cool software. Cool, it is. Yeah. But you don't really need to. It's a different, it's different a total, way of doing yeah, things. Yeah, it's def- definitely a different venue. And I definitely think it's more of the future. And one of the reasons we don't do as many men are live because we've got you now. <laughs> you and Chantel. That's true. Because mm-hmm. we're also doing the uh, COVID Home Gym Show group now, too. Mm-hmm. Great. We have one of those coming up on mm. the 13th of July, if you okay. guys are part of that group. Oh, nice. Mm. Uh, it's a week Always from today. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, real soon. All right. You do that from here as well, or do we, you... Nope, we do that one from here. Mm-hmm. Yep. It's a slightly different format than we do for most of my Instagram shows. You okay. Know, most of my Instagram shows, the, the thing that you see is a rock and these hands. That's about mm. it. Mm. Okay. And, and a disembodied voice you hear. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. But you usually don't see uh, me... Or Christopher, Chantel, right. very rarely. Right. Usually but, only at the beginning and if I'm just being funny. Yeah, fair enough. But most of the time, it's a rock in front of the camera the whole time. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. We try to do, like, zoom-ins and, like, mm-hmm. really close views, show texturing and stuff like that. Showing fluorescence really well. When you yeah, have fluorescence we have nice gotten pretty good at showing really fluorescence. Well. Yeah. <laughs> nice. At first, that was really tough to accomplish, but I feel like now it's it's a pretty cool effect. Nice. A lot of people uh, seem to like They it. like it. Yeah, mm-hmm. we're, we're so much so that we're mm-hmm. going to do a whole fluorescent show soon. Ooh. Do we get that the big the big light yeah. hanging over there? Yeah. We ordered, really get things glowing. We ordered one of the uh, yeah, exactly. shortwave, shortwave yeah. ones from uh, mm-hmm. William, Mr. Gardner over mm-hmm. there. So we hope to get it soon. Cool. <laughs> so again, if people want to uh, watch these shows, it's you can find at Collectors Edge Minerals yep. at Collectors Edge Minerals uh, on Instagram, and mm-hmm. then our Facebook is Collectors Edge Minerals. Just. Mm-hmm. And you can get to either one of them, and all those accounts are linked. We even mm-hmm. have a new TikTok now that you can get to from there. Mm. Um, I think it's worded the same, but I would have to double check that one. Chantel, okay. Chantel really maintains the TikTok. Gotcha. I'm not. I'm not cool enough. She's done some really cool TikToks. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we did a really cool time lapse video filling flats that people really like. That was oh. fun. You're right. She did instructional box folding. Yeah, instructional Ooh. box folding. Um, yes. 
We but you're the origami expert. Well, I was true. expecting you to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I, you know, the, the more I can not do, the better. Give me this time. You're going to make a box right now. <laughs> or just pay some employee's kid a nickel a piece to pull them up for us. <laughs> there you I'm go. not above <laughs> it. That's our general route. Yeah. I am not above it. <laughs> right. Mm-hmm. That stuff is really time consuming. Oh, Building, yeah. I think some of those flats have 54 individual mm-hmm. little boxes in them. And each one takes at least 10 seconds to fold. So right. when you need to fill... 50 flats mm-hmm. that's, that's a, a crap load of boxes guys right. <laughs> so yes i have folded many a box while i sit at home and watch tv in the evenings mm-hmm. are you getting properly compensated for that <sighs> boy you know proper <laughs> compensation that's mm-hmm. that's an interesting subject who knows <laughs> who's to say anyway mm-hmm. on that note mm-hmm. hey christopher do you have anything else you'd like to uh no, I, I ramble think on that's about, about it? it yeah okay Hopefully here, um, I'll be back on the, you're, when are you going to leave? I'm going to be back on the 26th. So I'm going to try to be out probably around the uh, 28th Eighth? then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, that, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe, Al, yeah, maybe Alan and I will have to just have to do a show in early August without you. It'll give yeah, us a chance to work. talk about Christopher while he's gone. Exactly. That works. Exactly. I like this idea. Because <laughs> by then we really do need to start uh, filling people in on yeah, dates I mean, and uh, times. My, and my head would just get big from all the wonderful things you'd be saying about me, so it's probably best you do that while I'm out. Probably. Yeah. Exactly that mm. reason. Uh, just keep telling yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho... <laughs> Uh, we do have a few minerals to show on this show today. What? Yes, we do. We do. All right. We picked out uh, the normal uh, six. Very nice. Yep. Yeah. Why don't so, we just uh, go directly into this one? Yeah. So ah. this is interesting. We've got something uh, mm-hmm. uh, something new and something old. old yeah. uh, I, I I love it when uh, when you when you find things like this. I've I've got uh, a bunch of. And brand new antiques in my in my silver collection as well, where you've got something that never saw the light of day mm-hmm. from from way back when. So we're looking at a Pedanera tourmaline here that we had like twenty years ago, right? But had to have just a little bit of, of work done for it, and uh, so it's just now within the last couple of months uh, seeing the light of day. Yep, just never quite got around to it. Mm-hmm. That's exactly. I've never seen this piece until today. Really, I'm pretty sure I've never seen this piece. Gotcha. Yeah, like uh, Christopher just said, it just we just never had the time in the lab, and um, mm-hmm. uh, finally Robert and uh, Zach got a little time, and they pulled these out, and uh, here they are. It's really cool. Mm-hmm. Yep, it's a good size piece. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're looking at ten and a half centimeters across, uh, seven minute, uh, seven centimeters tall, and uh, you know three point one. So that's that's pretty that's thick bad. boy. Yep. Uh, there, and of course you got the two. That's I the, love that's the orientation. Like, uh, Right. thickness of yeah, both of the crystals cool, together. It? Yeah, no, it's mm-hmm. super cool. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You get that classic uh, Pedanera. You see so many crossed crystals. Uh, mm-hmm. I know there's there's a there's the uh, there's of course the bicolor star, which is the the, yes. the most famous mm-hmm. you know cross piece. But there's also like a the I'm sure there's at least one to ten minerals from there that people have named the cross because <laughs> of the way uh, that uh, they form from there. Sure. And then that classic, you know, slightly to strongly bluish green color with the red, you know, just that classic Pedanera color. Mm-hmm. Really beautiful piece on a base from Sunnywood. 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 Yep. <laughs> yep. Mounted this one really well. He did. Anyway, yeah. uh, as Christopher said, it's a seven by ten and a half and today and today only, well, no, not necessarily. <laughs> don't want to sound like a timeshare salesman. Uh, it, it is thirty-five hundred dollars. Everybody's gonna be so, asking for their gift for watching the show. Oh, exactly, <laughs> exactly. It's a, uh, it's a heck of a deal, I think, for this. The the look you get for just thirty-five hundred dollars in a tourmaline. I'm surprised by that price. Yep. Yeah, that's that's a lot of tourmaline for that price. Yep. Mm. So, and like I say, I can't get over the aesthetics of this piece. I really like it. I love the way it was mounted. Well, yeah, we so, could. Uh, just leave it. Somebody calling in, they'll leave a voicemail. Yep. Uh, maybe, Probably maybe somebody wants to call in for the term. They, <laughs> could. they, they could. could. They just know. They do. <laughs> they know my number. But um, yeah, so again, 20 years old. Mm-hmm. 20 years old, and you're getting the opportunity to, uh, to get this for the first time. Absolutely. Yeah. Don't miss the opportunity. Don't miss it. Just $3,500 today. Mm-hmm. So, I think it's a beauty. It is. It is. Mm-hmm. Great luster. It's such a classic locality mm-hmm. that has now been uh, closed. Yes. Yeah, Danny finally closed it. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, because he had it for a long time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. He took it in about 2005, I want to say 2006, mm-hmm. 
something like that, and um, finally just um, came to the end of the line. We did a lot of good work down there. A lot of great specimens came, came out, out under his uh, his watch. Yep. So, for sure. Indeed. And now, going across the ocean, we have a oh, yes. Sheolite. I love these. Same and this here. is a really good one. I was going to say, I'm becoming a fan of the Sheolites. Uh -huh. I had a customer in last week. I don't know if you guys know Andreas or not. He's He's probably yeah. going to be joining us for a little yeah. while as a part-time help nice for a little bit. Okay. Um, but he's also a big Shelite fan. We, we talked about Shelites for probably two hours in my office back then. Really? Yeah. yeah. So this was this was a little unusual in that uh, I was actually exposed to this variety very early on in my collecting because, uh -huh. you know, I got into it because of working on a book project and Shelite was one of the ones that was covered because occasionally it can be faceted into some magnificent gems like right. in, insane dispersion just really really beautiful really and uh this was one of those knew nothing about it love at first sight just Got that, sure. that, the that pseudo octahedral form mm -hmm. the uh associations with the muscovite mm -hmm. uh, the color everything i just love everything about this mineral i right. really do and then the way that the, the specimen lays out the aesthetics of it the structure of it it's really perfect, I this, think. No, this it, is a really is. good one. Mm -hmm. Definitely one of my favorites of these. Absolutely. Yep. Uh, uh, give the nitty gritty on it there. Sure. Yep. Uh, eight by seven point uh, two centimeters by six. So this is a substantially uh, sized piece all the way around, and uh, you, that that center uh, that center the she light the focus of the piece is five centimeters uh, mm -hmm. by three point two so you're looking at uh, five oh no no no, oh, no is that not the, the, that's an s the she light is three point two centimeters okay I, I thought you were giving the x so <laughs> I, so I will try to warn you about my crappy hand right there, all right? <laughs> I was about to say wow that's big that's a big one <laughs> that, that, that'd be like a that'd be a small cabinet in and of itself almost uh, yeah three point two centimeters though right, so right. yeah that's a that's a that's a hefty crystal it is indeed so and, and, uh, about and an inch and, and a half and, across. And what would that set me back? That would indeed well set you back two thousand dollars to three. That's not bad at all, especially yeah, from all. a locality that you're not getting anything no. net fresh out of. No, she likes in great condition. Too. It is. It, it really is. There's, is. Uh, Super fine luster. It's certainly eye clean. Um, we could go over it with a loop and maybe find a little little diddle on it somewhere. But I'd uh, say I'm only a couple feet away from it. And that right. thing's gorgeous. Yep. Yeah. And very intense color and mm -hmm. on the tip, and really good, especially clear on the, the tip flare. too. Yep. Yeah, yep. better watch out. I was getting excited here. I let's say I really like this piece a lot. Yep. It's a good one. This one's been hiding. <laughs> it has. Yeah, in plain sight. <laughs> we have so many rocks around here; oh, yes. it's hard to focus on one. Yeah, but, uh, it's impossible to focus. It on is one. impossible. So if you're ever in the Denver area, this is a good opportunity to uh, come up and say, uh, mm -hmm. if you're ever going to be around, don't hesitate to contact any one of us. Please. And um, if we're not going to be here, we'll refer you to one of the other two. Yeah. No, we like and, having uh, visitors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. We just happy. Re rearrange the vault so it's looking all nice and fancy. Absolutely. Yeah. We've done uh, a lot of work in the back room. I think my mm -hmm. I think my office looks pretty good now. We've put some yes. cases in there, and mm -hmm. there's nice museum drawers to shop through. And look Absolutely. Through. Um, I don't know. I think it looks pretty nice. Right? Okay, it keeps does. you busy because you keep, they keep buying the rocks. You'll yeah, set it up and then it's reset it. the next day. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's absolutely true. I'm actually trying to make room for one more case in there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Where that silver rack is on right there mm -hmm. past the museum doors, I'm going to try and put a case there. Gotcha. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very good. But the one thing we do ask is please make an appointment. Just please. showing up yeah. at the door. I know you can Google our address and just show up at the door. That's usually not a good idea. We might yeah. not be here. We're, we're, we, we're, we keep odd hours. We have things that take us other mm -hmm. places uh, yep. so Do call, call one of us email right. one of us like, exactly because between the three of us one of us is almost always here at least around yeah we can we're really we can manage to be yeah. here right mm -hmm. so yep. no matter when you want to come except for three in the morning uh yeah. we, we will manage to accommodate you yeah let's say you could probably get me out at three o'clock in the morning i might not be very happy about it <laughs> uh, no. and our alarm company wouldn't be happy oh they definitely oh, no. Yeah. no i'd have to call so, them yeah I mean, they yes. probably call him Wake Messy. Brian up. Whew. Yeah. We'll just straighten it out now. Between 9 and yeah. 6. Normal, <laughs> norm, normalish hours. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. Oh, we got to just uh, flash that up there one more time as always. Oh, yeah, it's coming sure. up. Whoops, come on. Come on. Here we go. There we go. Oof. Very nice. That, uh, that's really a piece, piece right there. That would probably be my pick of the show. Yep. And I'd, I'd say one of my favorite pieces that mm -hmm. I've uh, found a home for. 
uh, since I've I've been out here. Well, I was actually right before I was out here, but uh, yeah, the uh, that that shielite rough and cut that we had was absolutely beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Yep. Only thing that beat it was the uh, the uh, surusite or no, the wolfenite that Brian Knight got. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that's really outstanding. Nice. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately, nobody will probably ever see that. <laughs> The one time I was had a chance to see it, I was like, "Holy crap!" Oh yeah, I've only, seen, I've only seen it the once, and it yeah. was really, really. Show nice. it, you don't even touch it. It's yeah, just no. oh, beautiful. Yep. Anyway, moving right along here. Hello. Specimen number three. Number three. We'll let Alan talk about this because oh, he yeah. he knows somebody that works here. I do. Yeah. I do. As a matter of fact, they're uh, they're pre they're getting ready for an another season of collecting this wonderful barite that comes from Elk Creek. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, South Dakota. Mm -hmm. How how long have they been mining this? Because it's gosh. Because I, I still call this kind of a, a new collector species. Because there's mm. still a lot of people adding these. I think. Mm -hmm. Well, true. Barite seems to just be getting more and more popular. Right? Well, it is, and I think people are starting to discover the different varieties of barite and that there is variety within the species in different right. localities. Right. A lot of different colors. Yep. Yeah. A lot of different shapes. But in my opinion, the Elk Creeks are probably one of the world world class along with the English ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I like the English barites. ones, but yes, the because mm -hmm. I call this Coke bottle color and the root beer. Yeah. Yes. Or, yeah. the, ooh, I should the start beer, using yeah, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess Coke bottle isn't really a beer bottle anymore. <laughs> we're, we're not 1937 anymore. Yeah, well, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Mm. Nice little chisel tip yep. on those. That's one of the things I really like about them right. is, is I'm not really super familiar with every locality, but this is the one that always comes to mind for just a long prismatic crystal. Right. I, that's just not as... as common with other barite localities right so, yeah. right and this this uh, particular concretion yielded some amazing specimens you can see the flare on the termination mm -hmm. in this close-up uh, you rarely find luster on the terminal faces like yeah. this they're mm -hmm. all you know kind of that uh, a little frosty a little frosty mm -hmm. yeah I almost said etched but etched isn't the correct term I think it is is yeah. Yeah. Etched? Uh -huh. I could Yep, there's some kind of uh, in the formation. There's some kind of directional etching, or I'm not exactly familiar with the term. I need to become a little more edified in this. But so do I, you know. know. As you said, I am biased towards this material. Yep, yeah. with and good reason, of course. With good reason. And if you're a uh, if you're a fossil collector as well yes. as a uh, mineral collector, this is a good crossover piece for you because that's really what they're looking for out here. Yes, the fossils. And you do well, sometimes find fossils in the same concretions with the yeah, barite. Right, rarely, very rarely. We've had that I could remember like two specimens that yeah. exhibited both the uh, barite and the fossil the ammonite mm -hmm. in, in on the same piece. Mm -hmm. That's you know, pretty neat. A little septaria in there too, if it's I remember. A, mm -hmm. Gotcha. Anyway, this guy measures 8 by 9.5 by 6 centimeters with a 5 centimeter tall barite crystal right there in the middle. That, that's that's a not, few side not, cores. not 8 by 5. That's B. That's a B. <laughs> yes, that's a B. I got yeah. that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and this piece for you today can be just for $1,500. Wow. Nice. Mm -hmm. Man. Pretty good deal. I would think that uh, I think all of these we own, and we could do the uh, the whole show in memorial mm -hmm. of uh, commemoration of Steve. Mm -hmm. he used to like to do that. If you bought all six specimens, you get another ten percent off. Nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's that's well worth it. Yep. So this is a good opportunity. Nice cabinet size. Mm -hmm. Beautiful piece. Good condition. No repairs or restorations, yeah. to the best of my knowledge. And the focal crystal is oriented really, really well. <laughs> and like I was saying, you can see right there yeah. as it goes around that uh, you don't see that kind of luster on the terminal faces on very many pieces in these. Yeah. Yeah. So definitely not the uh, majority yep. here. Definitely yep. in the minority with the niceness. Yep. And nice, your nice, nice. Uh, your difference that you're seeing in the calcite from the uh, turntable to the stills is definitely more the turntable color for that yeah. bright color to the calcites. And that's one of the things you're really looking for right. from this locality is that really, really gorgeous uh, orangey yellow calcite. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. yep that, uh, that association is great, the combination of those colors. Absolutely. Because yep. they're both fluorescent, too. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty neat. We sh we showed a really nice piece of this. Uh, mm -hmm. It wasn't this piece. Okay. It wasn't quite this nice, but mm -hmm. we showed a really nice piece that had a single focal crystal like this. Right. 
and showed the phosphorescence how it could hold the energy. Oh wow! And, right. And it it came out really well. And I'm, cool. I guarantee this one does the exact same thing. It's sure. Yeah. So if you're a fluorescent collector as well, this is an doubly opportunity. phenomenal. Doubly phenomenal. <laughs> yes, it's fluorescent and phosphorescent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not many minerals can say that. Sure. Not many. And then we're moving along. Yeah. Christopher had a really uh, long look at this piece yeah. before the show. He likes it. Mm. So, of course, like a lot of people, I got really into fluorite uh, uh -huh. early on because just, you know, so many colors, so many shapes, so many localities. Right. Very accessible uh, mineral. Uh -huh. And uh, one of the things, of course, when you start collecting a lot of fluorite, calcite, quartzes, things like that, you very quickly become a locality collector it can happen. and uh <laughs> so uh this one is uh a a pretty uncommon locality there's a lot mm -hmm. that comes out of this mine and fluoride is not the most uh prevalent thing that comes out of there mm -hmm. so you know when you see a uh, a san antonio uh fluorite uh pay attention mm -hmm. um those are those they have some some pretty uh classic things that you're looking for you'll usually see modified corners on them in this case you're seeing nice beveled corners uh sometimes you'll see really rounded corners mm -hmm. uh, on those pieces and of course one of the uh the best things especially since it is a mexican mineral that aztec stepped pyramid uh, formation mm -hmm. you can really see well on the inside uh, you've got nice, uh, bright uh, uh, calcopyrites and pyrites on there. Uh, mm -hmm. When you get enough light on it, uh, a little dark there, but you yep. see some twinkle when you hit some light. And, uh, of course, just so you know it's from San Antonio there, you know, you've got that little little stub of calcite in the bottom that does fluoresce nice and orange mm -hmm. just like it's supposed to from that locality. Mm -hmm. um, you know, great classic San Antonio mine fluorite. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice oh, piece. I think really this, pretty. this picture is my favorite, I think. Okay. This yeah. one. Because it shows the texture on the faces. Really yes. Well. And you get it back in the photo lab under the CFL lighting. It, uh, it glows really nice like nice. this. Yep. Like and Mr. was saying uh, here in my office, it's a little washed. A little light on the purple. Yeah, and you get a you get a good range in color mm -hmm. from this mine. You get right. everything from colorless to a, a deep purple. The deep purple is very rare. Right. Uh, typically, what you're seeing is a lighter purple and a lighter bluish colors mm -hmm. out of the mine. So yep. it's a good color for this one. Yep. Did we talk about the size of it? Uh, we did not. Yep. So four point two by four point eight by five. So it's it's mm -hmm. not too far off of good uh, <laughs> right. equit uh, pyramid uh, right. uh, dimensions there. Uh, and the price, $850. You got the added value of the Sunnywood base the Sunnywood there, base, too. Exactly right. Yeah. That's a couple hundred bucks right there. Yeah, right there. That's, Absolutely. that's a huge value. Mm -hmm. So don't pass up on this opportunity. No. And all the ones you have in today's show are really good steals like that. Yeah. Well, and good localities. <laughs> I try to make an extra yeah, effort for the definitely. viewers, you know, that take the time to watches Babylon for yeah. 45 minutes or so uh, so luckily your your viewers can fast forward through me talking I hope they do I've had multiple people say they watch the talk about a couple minutes take the little thing and zzz, over to where the uh, sales start number one zzz, number two zzz, number three no uh, I, they I watch the show in about five minutes I mm. make jokes all the time to my Instagram customers because mm. I, I always assume they're watching my lives on mute because mm. I, I couldn't listen to me for an hour I, I don't know how they do so mm. you should test it out sometime Times, just get a get a uh, recording of Charlie Brown's teacher. <laughs> just get it fired up with rocks. Just wah, 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 wah. Yeah, let's see if anybody's I paying attention. That. I might try that. Yeah. Now this is Christopher's favorite rock, and we won't say why. Mm. Please don't Every, be offended. Yes. <laughs> Everyone's gonna know why. <laughs> you think? Uh, so Richard is a good friend. Yeah, uh, well, uh, he is. Uh, he knows that I'm shopping for a house right now, and uh -huh. I'm really trying not to spend money on rocks. Uh -huh. And so almost every minerals live, he finds a rock that he knows that I want to add to my collection. <laughs> yeah, he well, puts it in uh, here to help remove the temptation. Yeah. Yes. And we've had a lot of these uh, Congolese tourmalines, mm -hmm. some outstanding color combinations and everything, but. This one's absolutely my favorite. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. It's right. the only one that's ever looked like something else. Yes. yes. Well, mm. 
it, it's actually saying it's number one. It's yes. number one. It's yes. number one. It's an ultimate fan. <laughs> the terminal may be coming from the middle, but it's just saying we're number one. <laughs> it's, it's just number one. <laughs> yes. uh, so five point seven millimeters tall, good size terminal, mm-hmm. three and a half wide, and two uh, two point eight uh, centimeters uh, from mm-hmm. front to back. It's a good sized uh, tourmaline and With uh, great color. Yeah. Great, great color, and uh, definitely going to grab attention. <laughs> right? <laughs> no, it's a gem. Like it's a total. It gem. really is. It indeed. Oh, yeah, I was beginning there. to worry there for a second. I didn't yeah. have the slide with the price. If, <laughs> if you pick this up from this show, you are going to save me a grand total of. Oh, we need to go to the price. Yeah. Okay. Mm. How, how how much are they going to save me towards the purchase of my house? Uh, uh, one second. Let me get that. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little slow. I'm gotcha. I, I got there. I got there pretty quick on that. It's two thousand. Two thousand dollars. Yes. yes. Mm. That's a pretty good deal for one of these if you've been around to the shows. It really is. And and this is, I, I get what I want to say, this is very unusual. I've mm-hmm. only really seen one or two, two that I can think of, unless there's just some I glazed over, that had something else really radiating off of the main crystal. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not a very unusual, or not a, not a very usual thing that you see in these Congo tourmalines, or at mm-hmm. least that I have it. Usually it's just singleton, you know, nice but right. prismatic crystals, right. but not really anything splitting off or, or things like right. that. So. Groups or whatever, Groups, usually yeah. just sticks. Yep. Yeah. So Very unusual form mm-hmm. of that location. Absolutely. It's a beauty. It, it really beauty. is. Get in touch with us. All right. Well, I guess that uh, brings us to the uh, specimen number six. Mm-hmm. And well, instead of a, yeah, I know, mm-hmm. went pretty quick. Yeah. So this one, we've uh, got a wonderful batch of these. We debuted not too long ago. Yeah. There we go. These. Uh, we're working these. on the uh, the science of it right now. We think they're twin. Some say Fodden, but you can see the line running right up the see, middle of this. I'm I'm in Camp Fodden. Camp Fodden. I'm in Camp Fodden. Okay. So I actually did add one of these from my collection, uh, mm-hmm. and and it really looks very similar to uh, a Fodden growth. Mm-hmm. That little thread going through it, and kind of stacked crystals almost. Right. But uh, like I was saying, they uh, they are doing yeah. Black black background doesn't do that really justice there, but uh, yeah, nice I like reach color. in. But uh, it really is a pretty one, and hopefully soon. Uh, they uh, come go. out with a report on it as to exactly what's going on with the uh, with the habit form. They're so if it's a if it's a spinel twinning or if it's a fodden. Yeah, it's very unusual what's going on here because if I remember correctly, we sent samples and then mm-hmm. it was a little while. It was like send more samples. We, yeah, we need some more samples. <laughs> uh, we know what they want. Huh? Yeah, For free minerals. <laughs> huh? No. In uh, in all justification, the guy they they did uh, buy a few for their collections. Yeah, they got scraps for slicing and dicing because they were doing thin sections of these mm-hmm. to do uh, angle measurements and whatnot. Oh, nice. yeah. yeah, so it well, was doing a very systematic uh, approach to his signs. Yeah, so this one is is more of a flat crystal, but you do right. see some that have like kind of radiating crisscrosses. Right, they're and, Mercedes look. Yeah. But they're but the angles will be different. Uh, that that was what was mm-hmm. really messing with me for mm-hmm. for there being a twin is is you would have the the angles on one side didn't match up with the angles on the on other the other side. yeah mm-hmm. so it was very unusual. Well, he was he was doing a lot of measurements to see if uh, there was some kind of a pattern to it. Yeah. So mm-hmm. anyway, you too can study this one at home. You can <laughs> buy a sample, slice it up, yep. <laughs> and do some uh, angle measurements, or just enjoy this one on your shelf and uh, mm-hmm. wait for the. Science paper to come out on. Yep, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> me too, for sure. But you can get this great little guy for just $450 today. Yeah, very nice. And uh, if you want, I'll send the block along with it, but I am going to have to take it off the block to ship it to you because yeah. it will get destroyed if I oh, shipped yeah, it glued yeah, to the definitely. block. Yep. So just to let you know, if it would, if that's you want the block, let me know and I will send it along in a separate separately. box. Separately. Yeah. Because that block weighs what? 15 times the crystal? Oh, at least. It's, uh-huh. it'd smash it up real good. Yep. Yep. So, four centimeters uh, tall. I don't know mm-hmm. if we talked about the size. I don't uh, think so. One centimeter across, yep. uh, three millimeters from front to back. So, yep. thinner mm-hmm. piece on this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, but beautiful, beautiful color and uh, interesting form from Afghanistan. Absolutely. God, neat stuff coming from uh, Afghanistan this mm-hmm. last couple of years. Yep. Mm-hmm. Still not, not very many of those around. No. No, it was just one small pocket. Yeah. 
Yeah, when we first got these, we did a lot of research trying to figure it out, and the only thing we saw was one specimen from Herba Boda that apparently he must have found 20, 25 years ago. Huh. And, um, and this batch came along. So, yeah. and like you're saying, they sold pretty quick. So, this is a nice one, though. For good mm -hmm. reason. I mean, mm -hmm. all of them were very pretty. I mean. Right. Beautiful color. The uh, the still pictures are a little better representative of what they uh, what they look like in person. Definitely, uh -huh. especially under a nice lighting scheme. Yep. Here under my drab lighting, I should have gone back and got that. Oh, it's actually it's in my office. Mm -hmm. It's right behind me. I could have pulled. I one failed. Of, it's been so long since I've done this show. I could have also yeah. very easily brought you one of the Instagram lights up and just set it right beside the desk. It would have been fun. And uh, just to let you know, this one would be right at about maybe average to slightly above average for what we wound up getting, I believe, because uh, I, I know the piece that I wound up with was a thumbnail. Oh, okay. And I was very happy to I get that one. I would call this one big. Right. Yeah. They were, they were largely, it was much, much smaller crystals, yeah. and then they, they were like, what, maybe maybe a half a dozen, like... Bigger pieces. Bigger yeah. pieces, and then the rest mm -hmm. of them were about here or smaller, I believe. Right. Just one matrix piece. That's mm -hmm. all we got. Was yep. one, one matrix. The rest were loose crystal clusters or single, mm -hmm. you know, spinels or whatever we want to call them. Yep. We'll be told what to call them. <laughs> yeah, eventually. <laughs> yeah. As soon as the good Dr. Rakavan finishes his work. Yep. And he's in the middle of a uh, moving, so I don't, oh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, he got a new job down at Squirrel, so. Oh, okay. okay. Los Alamos. Nice. Congratulations. Yep. Congratulations, Dan. Yeah, yeah. sure. Anyway, I think that brings us to the end of another edition of Minerals Live. It does. It does. Uh, I, I'm out. Christopher's out. So if uh, anybody in the east or west would like to see us, mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to be mostly in the northwest on this run. And mm -hmm. then I'll, when he gets back, I'll be going to the southwest. Mm -hmm. So, And uh, we can ship these to you or mm -hmm. we can deliver them personally. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That personal touch really does make a difference and it ensures it arriving alive. Yes, sure. yeah. also true. <laughs> I always like to, people wonder why, why do you want to deliver? And I was like, I really want to make sure it gets here one yeah. piece. Because we hear the horror stories of the, yeah. the, the rare occasions when it doesn't get delivered. Right. Like, yeah. I yeah. had a customer who had a porch pirate take something three minutes after the post office laid yeah. it on her porch yes, yeah. or last week, two weeks yeah. ago. Yep, it's awful. It happens. Poor Myrna. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't right. even want to ask what it was. But it's, it happened to me earlier this summer, too. Not yeah. a mineral, but a um, pair of shoes. Oh, no. Yeah. Actually, it was right before Tucson. I needed to get a new pair of minerals. Yeah, I have and never uh, had a specimen shipped anyway other than Signature or P.O. Box. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm always worried about that. Yep. Mm -hmm. so. And this was one of those cases where she thought she was going to be home and had to not be there. Uh, We'd... Mm -hmm. oh, because we try to coordinate deliveries, you know. Sure. Because mm -hmm. this was a nice, it was a nice miniature roto. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's okay. We, we're pretty sure we're going to get it back. Okay. She thinks she knows. There's video of the whole thing happening. So wow. Mm, okay. I actually got to watch it this weekend. <laughs> wow. Mm. Yeah. Those ring they're doorbells crazy. are they're, they're a thing of beauty. Wow. Mm, they really are. Really good quality too. Really like, good quality. Such good quality that you could see the license plate number from across the street to the car he got in. Nice. It was pretty nice. Wow. Mm. Made it really easy to hand over wow. to the uh, police. Gotcha. That's a shame. So they were following the truck around. Yeah, that looks like they were following the post office delivery guy around. Right. Cool. And they were waiting to see if the doors that didn't get answered, and then they would just sit there, and then mm -hmm. uh, a few minutes, they'd let a few minutes go by, and then they'd go up and get it. Yep. Mm. Boom. Somebody is lingering in our lobby, and I think I know who it is. Uh -oh. Oh. I think Graham is here. What the hell? Yes. Mr. Graham Sutton himself. Yep. Cool. Lock the doors and bat the hatches. <laughs> mm -hmm. We haven't had him on Minerals Life for a long time. One of these days we'll get him back on. I actually had him on uh, Instagram not that long ago. Um, it was either last month or the month before. He came, mm -hmm. he came over and uh, came into the office while I was doing a live and mm -hmm. shared a few thoughts with our uh, audience. Mm -hmm. That can be dangerous. It can be. <laughs> but he also has some very interesting stories. He does. He does. So he does. No embellishment. It's all true. Probably. Knowing him. <laughs> anyway. 
we probably ought not to ramble on. <laughs> so hopefully we'll be back on by uh, early August with another edition of Minerals Live to update mm -hmm. you on the Hard Rock Summit and Crown Plaza shows and what we'll be doing there. In the um, meantime, I, I'm always good about announcing schedules and things on our on our social pages. So mm -hmm. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, any of those, find us. And if, mm -hmm. if we're doing something, you will be able to find a post that gives you the dates, the times, how to get a hold of us, all that good stuff. There you go. So go to Instagram, uh, create an account, sign up for notifications, and you won't miss a thing. Mm -hmm. and if you have any Ever. other questions, also minerals at collectors edge mm -hmm. com, you know, for uh, orders or for uh, right. other in inquiries, we're always here for you. We got six minerals on the show, but we got like 6,000 minerals laying around just the main building here. So, mm -hmm. yep. We probably got what you want if you give us a call. Absolutely. And uh, do you want to do the uh, ring the bell, sign up for the notifications? Yeah, thing? so <laughs> if you uh, enjoy this video and you're uh -huh. always wanting yeah. to be the first one in line right. to shop for these minerals, uh -huh. uh, like, subscribe, and ring that bell, and you'll be notified whenever we uh, put out another edition of Minerals Live. Awesome. Thanks, Christopher. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alan. Appreciate your coming on the show. And uh, we will do it again as soon as we can. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Nice.